Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how I made this shelf behind me. I'll flip you around so you can see it better. It's this shelf right here. I just finished making this weekend. Got it hung up and now I have it decorated on the top. It has 10 hooks on it. It also has a shelf on top. There's the shelf, there's a side view. I decided since I was making it, I could make something that I could put some decorative things on top and then he has the functional hooks down below. So if you would like to see how I made this, just keep watching and I will walk you through the steps. All right, the supplies that you're going to need for this project is, first we'll start out with the wood. You're going to need a piece of one by four cut to size. You will also need a piece of one by eight, which is like this, one by eight cut to size. I cut both, I cut my one by eight five feet long, and then the one by two, I cut, I think it was 62 inches long, which is two inches longer than five feet. So, just so you know. Um, the next thing you'll need is some sort of trim. I have used two different trims. This went on the top of the shelf, and it has this little notch in it, so it sits on the top of the shelf, and adds a nice little decorative trim. So I use that first. I also use this trim here, and it is looks like that on the edge. So both of these are cut to the length that I needed. To cut the wood, you can use anything you'd like. You can use a jigsaw, a compound miter, whatever. I used a portable, um, what's this, a scroll saw, I think, or skill saw, portable skill saw. So this is what I cut the 1x4 and the 1x8 with to get a nice clean line. In order to cut the trim work, I used a miter box like this like this and the saw that comes with it. Super quick and simple. Um, the next thing you're gonna need to do, need is obviously measuring tape of some sort. I also use my quilters ruler like this. I love to use this for just about every project. And the next thing you'll need is a power drill like this with the corresponding drill bit for the type of screw that you're using or the drill bit that you're using. I also needed two sizes of drill bits. I've got a bigger size like this and a smaller size like this and then two sizes of screws. This screw is a three inch with a star um, bit at the top and then this one is a one and five eighths with a square top, square bit top. All right, so then we have those. We also need to have a countersinking bit like this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you'll also need some sort of stud finder. I just have this teeny one, little one like this. I use this all the time. It's got a magnet on the back, detects the um, screws in the in the drywall. It works great. Also has a little um, level on it, which you'll need also. Um, the next thing, oh, you'll also need a pencil for marking out the wood, making um, marks for hanging the hooks. Um, the next thing is some sort of adhesive. I am using this Power Grab all purpose of adhesive. This stuff works great. I think I got that at like Target or something like that. Anyways, so I have that. And then, let's see, I used a hammer because when I attached my trim with my, what do you call this thing? My nail gun. Some of the nails were being funky and they didn't go all the way down. So I needed a hammer to pound them all the way down. So you'll need one of those if you're having issues with your nailer or, or if you're just using regular old brad nails. And then finally, you'll need some sort of sander. I use the Black & Decker mouse, which works really nice. It's small, has a nice pointed um, tip so you can get in the small edges. So I think that is all the supplies that you will need to get started. Alright, so to get started on this project, I have gone ahead and cut one piece of 1x8 board 
5 feet long, which is 60 inches long. And then I have taken another board, which is a 1 by 4, and I have cut that to 62 inches long, so that I have a 1 inch overlap on both sides of the main board. So this will be the base where I put the hooks on. Sorry, the dog keeps getting in the way. So this will be the base that the hooks will be attached onto, and then this will be the little shelf that's going to be on top of it. So now that we have those two boards cut, we can attach them together. Before I attach the two pieces together, I want to make sure that my board stays where it needs to stay before I make the first, um, before I attach it. So I've made myself a little hash mark, which lines up with this edge. So that right before I drill, I know I can glance real quick and make sure that everything's lined up. So the next thing we're going to need to do is take a drill and drill a hole coming in from the top and going into this board on this, you know, through it. Through this board and into this board at the very top edge down here. So I'll show you a little better in just a minute. And then I'll be attaching it with this. This is a deck screw. I love these deck screws. Um, this is a 1 and 5 eighths, I believe, with a square head. Um, so I will also need, obviously, the right type of um, screwdriver head, which is right there. Alright, so let's get started. First I'll drill a small pilot hole with the drill, and then I will attach the screw. ahead and attach all the screws. I have a total of five all down the length of the board. Oh, there's the other one. And there's four and there's five. And that should be plenty I think. Okay so the next part is to add decorative trim to cover this gap between the shelf and the back spacing. And I have this stuff right here. It is See if I can turn it. Looks like this. So this part, top and the bottom, and it'll finish up this little space quite well. So I just cut it to length, so it'll fit exactly onto the base, like that. And then the other molding that I bought was this stuff, or I'm going to use is this stuff right here, and it has this little lip right here that will sit on another board. So I'm going to use that to edge the top of my shelf with so I can put, you know, prop things up and this will kind of give it something to sit against so it won't fall off the shelf. And then this will cover up the raw edge of the shelf edge. And it will go on something like that. Okay. To Attach the first piece of molding. I'm going to use a combination of a adhesive. I'm going to use this power grab all-purpose adhesive and I'll add that to the back of it along the edges. Place it where I want to be placed and then I'm going to use a brad nailer to attach a few brads along the length of it just to kind of hold it in place. Once everything's all sanded down, we have a shelf that looks like this. And then the top, as you can see, has this nice little edge to catch things so I can put decorative things up top, like some frames, stuff like that, and they won't slide off the shelf. So the first thing, next thing we're going to do is 
paint. So as per my norm, I'm going to start with this black gray color. I'll give the whole thing a coat of the black grayish color and then I will give it a top coat of white. So I have finished the painting process and then the next step was to install it onto the wall. As you can see I've already done that. It's attached to the wall and to do that I drilled through the back splash area into the wall and to make making sure that I hit a stud in inside the wall. I had to put two screws on this side. There's an oopsie one. We won't look at that. We'll fill that in later. And then down here at the other end, I have another two holes. Now to install this onto the wall, I did two separate things. First of all, I countersunk a hole where I know it would hit a stud. The next thing I did, and to countersink, I used this countersinking tool. Then the next thing I did was drill a hole all the way through the wood with the corresponding drill bit to match the screw width that I was using. And this went all the way through the wood itself so that, that way I don't have any splitting when I'm driving the screw in. And then lastly, I used a 3 inch screw. This is a 3 inch wood decking screw with a star tip, if you can see that there. There it is. Alright, the reason why I use such a long screw is we've got one inch of wood to go through. We have another inch of um, drywall to go through. And then of course I wanted to make sure that it was into the actual stud in the back of the wall at least a good inch. So that gives me nice three inch. So that is how I installed it. One. Now what I need to do is come back with a little bit of paint and fill that in. Or you can get um, caps if you want that go in there and then you sand, you glue them in, you sand them off, or you pound them in with a hammer and then you sand them off. But I don't like to use those. To tell you the truth, I just think it's an unnecessary long tedious step that I don't want to do. Alright, so now that it's attached to the wall, the next step to do is to attach the hooks. The reason I didn't attach the hooks first was because I didn't know where I was going to need to drill holes to attach it to the wall. So I figured attach it to the wall first and then I'm going to then add the hooks. So now I'll add the hooks and these are the hooks that I picked out. I thought they were pretty cute. And I bought these at Menards. So I bought a total of 10. This is a 5 foot board and I bought 10 hooks to go on it. So to help me making sure that they're all level, I didn't measure between my spaces. I just kind of eyeballed it. But I wanted to make sure that all the hooks when they're in a row, that they're all the same height. So in order to do that, I made this little guide. It's just a little post tip that I can stick at the top. And I cut out the curve that matches the curve of the hook. So then all I have to do is set the hook down on it and that will give me the middle of the hook and I know right where to make my um, where to screw in the hole. So then I made a pencil mark in each hole and it looks like that. So I've gone ahead and done that all the way down the length of the board for all of the hooks. So now I just need to start attaching the hooks. So the hooks are all on now. As you can see, lots of hooks. <laughs> I think I might have went overboard with hooks. But anyways, need to add some paint to this and add some decorative items on top and then we are ready to use it. Looks like it turned out pretty good.